Hello everybody, we're here. It is the 21st of July, I think. I don't know why I have to try to get the date in there, but uh, it is Wednesday. We're going to go ahead and read chapter 25 of the book of Acts. Paul appeals to Caesar. Now, when Festus was come into the province after three days, he ascended from Caesarea to Jerusalem. Then the high priest and the chief of the Jews informed him against Paul and besought him and desired favor against him that he would send for him to Jerusalem, laying wait in the way to kill him. But Festus answered that Paul should be kept at Caesarea and that he himself would depart shortly thither. Let them therefore, said he, which among you are able, go down with me and accuse this man, if there be any wickedness in him. And when he had tarried among them among the, among them more than ten days, he went down into Caesarea, and the next day, sitting on the judgment seat, commanded Paul to be brought. And when he was come, the Jews which came down from Jerusalem stood round about and laid many and grievous complaints against Paul, which they could not prove. While he answered for himself, neither against the law of the Jews, neither against the temple, nor yet against Caesar, have I offended anything at all. But Festus, willing to do the Jews a pleasure, answered Paul and said, Wilt thou go up to Jerusalem, and there be judged of these things before me? Then Paul said, I stand at Caesar's judgment seat, where I ought to be judged to the Jews. Have I done no wrong? as thou very well knowest. For if I be an offender or have committed anything worthy of death, I refuse not to die. But if there be none of these things whereof these accuse me, no man may deliver me unto them. I appeal unto Caesar. Then Festus, when he had conferred with the council, answered, Hast thou appealed unto Caesar? Unto Caesar shalt thou go. King Agrippa visits Festus. And after certain days, King Agrippa and Bernice came into Caesarea to salute Festus. And when they had been there many days, Festus declared Paul's calls unto the king, saying, There is a certain man left in bonds by Felix, about whom, when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews informed me, desiring to have judgment against him. To whom I answered, it is not the manner of the Romans to deliver any man to die. Before that, he which is accused have the accusers face to face and have license to answer for himself concerning the crime laid against him. Therefore, when they were come hither without any delay on the morrow, I sat on the judgment seat and commanded the man to be brought forth against whom, when the accuser stood up, they brought none accusation of such things as I supposed, but had certain questions against him of their own superstition, and of one Jesus, which was dead, whom Paul affirmed to be alive. And because I doubted of such manner of questions, I asked him whether he would go to Jerusalem and there be judged of these matters. But when Paul had appealed to be reserved unto the hearing of Augustus, I commanded him to be kept till I might send him to Caesar. Then Agrippa said unto Festus, I would also hear the man myself tomorrow, said he, Thou shalt hear him. Festus orders a hearing. And on the morrow, when Agrippa was come, and Bernice with great pomp, and was entered into the place of hearing with the chief captains and principal men of the city, at Festus' commandment, Paul was brought forth. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all men which are here present with us, ye see this man about whom all the multitude of the Jews have dealt with me, both, both at Jerusalem and also here, crying that he ought not to live any longer. But when I found that he had committed nothing worthy of death, and that he himself hath appealed to Augustus, I have determined to send him, of whom I have no certain thing to write unto my Lord. Wherefore I have brought him forth before you, especially before thee, O King Agrippa, 
that after examination had I might have somewhat to write, for it seemeth to me unreasonable to send a prisoner and not withal to signify the crimes laid against him. Chapter 25. We'll do chapter 26 tomorrow. The caption above it is Paul appears before Agrippa. So that is chapter 25. We will do 26 tomorrow. Uh, it was Wednesday. It was a more comfortable day at work. Uh, a good, a lot of things went pretty good today. So there wasn't a lot of complaints or things that frustrated me or anything like that. There's always some things, you know, that's just a work day. But uh, it was a pretty good day today. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday and then Friday, Saturday. I shouldn't have to mow the lawn Saturday because Dad got... Uh, part of it, the front yard done, and the field is not that long. It can wait till the next time, no big deal. Um, do you have to find weed eater string for my new uh, battery operated weed eater? If anybody's watching this and you need a weed eater, I'm telling you, I am completely shocked at how amazing the Atlas battery powered weed eater is from Harbor Freight. Uh, I got the 80 volt some people said it was a little pricey online. They were complaining about some of the reviews that I watched. But here's the thing. If you'd have just looked at your ad, they were complaining that you had to buy the battery, the charger, and the tool separate. They had a special combo price where you buy the a battery, a tool, and a charger, you get $30 off. All the people online were choosing to buy the charger that was more than double the price. Well, I'm sorry, it was double the price. They're $29 or $59. You get a regular charger or a rapid charger. If you plan ahead and you keep an extra battery, you don't need to spend an extra 30 bucks for a rapid charger unless you just are a procrastinator and you forgot to put it on charge or something like that. So I'm telling you, that, that thing blows my mind. It's so amazing. Quiet. It's light. A lot lighter than any gas weed eater I've ever had. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it was actually a gift from my dad. He got it for us to have. Uh, he got, we got the blower, the weed eater, and the chainsaw. We got two batteries, and that spe with that special, it came with two chargers. And we got $30 off, and the chargers were either $24.96 or $29.96. So either way... I mean, I guess we had to pay tax on the chargers. So what, what's tax on 30 bucks? Um, it's uh, six cents on the dollar. So it'd be 60 cents for $10. We paid a dollar 80 for them. Anyway, uh, I'm telling you, just try, if you're looking for something, try it. Uh, the, the only thing so far, weed eater string don't last a long time on it because it only has a 10 foot spool. A lot of things have a 30 foot spool, which means you do have to replace the weed eater string a little more often. However, okay, you don't have to buy gas. You don't have to sit and pull your arm off. So anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and pray and we'll uh, start pick it up tomorrow. But Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come to you today, Lord. We thank you for everything you do for us. We thank you for all the blessings you have given us, Lord. Watch over us. Keep us safe. Keep us within your will. Be with our family and my nieces and my nephew and my sisters and my brother-in-laws, Lord. Be with Brian that he continues to heal with whatever was going on with him with his health. Uh, be with Marlene Pemberton and Jack Pemberton, Lord. Watch over them. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for my, my friend at work, Eric, with everything he's going through in life, Lord, that he will find the answers he needs. And he won't have to make any rash or brash decisions, Lord. Uh, the, the, just the wisdom of discernment will come upon him and he'll do the, what he needs to do, Lord. But we love you. We thank you for everything. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Alright, see you all tomorrow.